welcome back to my channel. So let's talk about Antoine and Lacey in this last episode of Love After Lockup. So first of all, I'm so confused because Antoine blames he's super socially awkward on the fact he spent the last two years in prison in the hole. But on the car ride to Lacey's house, he told Lacey that he was just sitting in his cell talking to his celly a few hours ago. So I'm like, which one is it? Were you in the hole or were you in a cell with a celly? I think he must have spent two years on and off in the hole, especially with the fact that Lacey said that he would have this attitude like nothing's going to happen and end up going to the hole back again. And so Antoine, after Lacey picked him up, he was in a super good mood after Lacey went and got him some grain from a dispensary. And you could tell that boy was lit. <laughs> and you, you could tell he's super romantic by the way he kept calling Lacey fool. And Lacey was super super excited to show Antoine a surprise she had for him which was some cold chicken teriyaki in a plastic Tupperware container which I understand that's super sweet it's the thought that counts but Antoine said it's cold fool let's get some hot food and I get it from someone who spent time locked up before all the food they give you is cold in jail so I know he's looking forward to a nice hot meal also I was like look this is the perfect opportunity for them to have their first little date together but Antoine was so stoned and said he didn't feel comfortable getting out of the car so he made Lacey go in somewhere to get him some hot chicken teriyaki and made her run inside and get it so I get the whole being socially awkward thing because when I was locked up over six years ago I spent two and a half months in the hole and I was so weird and awkward when I got out like I did not know how to have a back and forth conversation with someone for a while I know it two and a half months affected me like that I can't imagine what two years would do to a person and Lacey admitted she knew things would probably be an adjustment for Antoine to get used to but she had no idea it would be this bad so after Antoine got some food he asked Lacey if he could go by his mom's and Lacey gave him the side eye you could tell she's definitely not down with him seeing and spending time with his mom even though his mom is the one who introduced Lacey to him and Lacey asked well how many times has your mom put money on your books and how many times has your mom visited you and Antoine said never and Lacey said then why do you want to go see her and I think that's part of the reason why Antoine's mom hooked him up with Lacey so he could have someone to take care of him and put money on his books while he's in prison since she wasn't doing it obviously and at the end of the day I still think it's messed up that Lacey's so upset about Antoine just stopping by and seeing his mom I'm sure she doesn't want to deal with her being drunk but at the end of the day that's still his mom so Antoine decided to call his mom to see if he could stop by and his mom informed him that she had COVID and you could tell that Lacey was happy when she heard that because she had a little smirk on her face like thank God and Lacey admitted she felt bad when she heard his mom had COVID but she was relieved that her and Antoine could actually spend some one-on-one -on -one time together so then they pull up to Lacey's house and Antoine said it looked cozy it looked all right he said it was a little plain Jane and it's like man you just went from not having a pot to piss in you think he would show a little more gratitude and be more excited and I love how Lacey was like I don't want you going to see your mom because you're just gonna get drunk with her but she takes this man to dispensary and gives him a beer fresh out of prison and when they get back to the house they start throwing back drinks and Antoine he was more focused on his blunt than Lacey and was hitting that thing back to back straight to the head and then when that blunt was Gone, he lit up another fatty and smoked it. This dude was straight lit like a Christmas tree. He could barely keep his eyes open. And I'm sure that is part of the reason why he kept smoking and drinking back to back is because he probably thought, hey, let me smoke another one. It'll probably make things a little easier, take some more of my anxiety away. Because I'm sure it is an adjustment for him. Even though him and Lacey have been together for the past two years, him and her spending time together in person, that's all new to him. And I feel like that's another reason why he wanted to spend time with his family so bad because those are people that he's used to and comfortable being around. So he was sitting there smoking and drinking. He couldn't get his mom out of his mind. So he decided to FaceTime her. They had a little chat. His mom was like, oh, you look lit, son. But they had a short little chat. 
and right after that, him and Lacey decided to cuddle. He finally told Lacey to come sit next to him and cuddle. And I was wondering when this dude was going to start showing Lacey some physical attraction and tension where Lacey didn't have to make the first move. And then they moved things to the bedroom after that. But it's like in the car, for example, like when she kissed him, he like wiped that off real quick. Like his grandma just kissed him or something. And it just seemed like Lacey was the one putting all the effort into being like close with him. So they went to the bedroom and they got it in and Antoine says he hopes he isn't a minute man because it's been over three and a half years since he last had sex with his ex-girlfriend right before he went to prison. And yes, that was pretty much it with them on the show. If you have been keeping up with my videos, Antoine ended up going back to jail like a month ago, but he ended up getting released after about a week. According to Washington jail records, Antoine was booked and charged with negligent driving in the first degree, which was a misdemeanor. And he was released after he posted a $5,000 bond. And there's no indication that drugs or alcohol was involved, but that remains a possibility. And since he got back out of jail about a month ago, him and Lacey are still going strong according to their joint Instagram they shared together, which I'm honestly shocked because I really don't have faith in many of the couples in this season except Chaz and Branwyn. In my personal opinion, I just don't think it's a very good sign when someone who used drugs prior gets out of jail or prison and the first thing they want is some weed or to get drunk because I'm someone who used to struggle with drugs myself and I've been sober for the past two years. But I tried so many times to get sober and I would be sober for a while and then I would start saying, oh, I can just drink here and there. Oh, I can just smoke weed here and there in moderation. And eventually, that alcohol wasn't getting me drunk anymore. That weed wasn't getting me high anymore. And once I say okay to this thing and push my boundary, I say okay to the next thing and push my boundary even farther. And then I'm all in. And, you know, the other stuff's not getting me high or drunk anymore. And I'm right back to where I started, back on drugs again. And that's what I really fear with people like Antoine who are rushing into that. Because that's that addict behavior coming out when he's getting out of jail. And that's the first thing that's on his mind. And I know he's using the whole excuse, well, I'm socially awkward, I spent all this time in the hole, it's uncomfortable with all the cameras around, but you gotta use, get used to being uncomfortable without always turning to advice. Otherwise, it's just a recipe for disaster, and you're not gonna know how to be uncomfortable and deal with hard situations without turning to something. But that's just my opinion. So that's it for this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.